a uh, papa ki kawana na taiki mawa e faka nuku nuku he faka neke neke he fuwa ri te hotu a wai hi ni ruki te wai ki tai wi wi ki tai wa wa ki te fai o ki te o marama ti hei mauri ora a uh, tu tai kanu te me ki te matu te rangi na na nei na me ka to no reira na faka moi me ti na faka fe tai ki o ta to matu te rangi a uh, tu rua ki na mate e haire nei no reira na mate haire 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 Kuri and I know it on order, a tena coto, a tena coto, tena tato, he me he knew it, he walker, or tainui, tainui walker, a tainui tangata, he pickle, he tanifa, he pickle, he tanifa, a tena coto, a tena coto, a tena coto kato. Um, killed everybody, it's, it's a real privilege to be here. Um, what I just said in my opening, uh, what we call in Māori them is a tau paraparo, and it talks about where you're from. And, it's, and, and straight away, if any Māori was listening, they'd know I'm from Tauranga because I was talking about the waves of beating against the, the rocks of Mount Maunganui. And funnily enough, the Tainui Waka, which belongs here, was coming through the Tauranga Harbour and it saw the waves. And as it was coming near the mountain, um, it moved away because of it and it got stuck on a sandbar. And the, the chief of the uh, Tainui Canoe, Hotero, um, said there must be an evil, evil something evil on on this um, on this walker, and uh, he actually blamed an old lady um, as being an evil spirit, and so they chucked the old lady off, and they used her to, for the walker to get back, and it came back and, and came to Raglan and landed here. So if you ever walk walk around Mount Maunganui on the um, on the left hand side towards Matakan Island you'll see a rock and it's called the Kuia Rock and it, it, it actually talks about the significance of the Tainui Waka um, coming into to Mount Maunganui. And I suppose when I was getting off the plane coming in today and I was thinking well I'm, this is a great Toparapara because it's talking about I'm from Tauranga, you know I'm in, in, um, in the Tainui, Tainui Rohe, so the, the Waka. So, um, and um, what also made me feel good when I come here is this place is called Ruku here. And you're going to see in a moment, and my team will probably know what I'm talking about as well. Because ruku here means be bold, dive in, be brave, and that's what innovation is all about. And I guess that's why most of you are, you are here today. Um, so I've got uh, probably one of the longest titles around, and it's, um, it actually got, got a bit bigger the other day. Um, so um, general manager, as you can see, and I've all, um, uh, actually, no, it's been updated with international, but um, I'm really going to get rid of that name and very soon. Um, a very internal, tells you a little bit about what we do, but it's probably not so customer focused. So I've been privileged to be doing this role for a couple of months. Um, and prior to that, I was um, uh, nearly three years leading the Māori space. But what's probably also um, you know, relevant today, before I joined Callaghan Innovation, I was the chief executive of a, of a large Māori kiwi fruit company in, in the Mount Maunganui that at our peak we were producing 5% of the national volume and, um, and you know, we've gone through all these peaks and troughs and PSA and, and the like. But um, when I left Callaghan Innovation, sort of AgTech was just sort of getting in and we did a number of projects with some of you may be familiar with that. Uh, Steve Saunders, was we did this um, project with Callaghan Innovation called Tech Transfer and Lifting Productivity Through Technology on Orchards. And I was privileged to be part of that, in which um, launched me into Callaghan Innovation. So, just giving you some context of um, of the area that I've come from, ag tech is not my specialty, um, and PowerPoint certainly not my specialty as well. Probably talking is probably my specialty. And if we we're just talking about the Māori economy, I could talk to you all day. I could talk to you all day. And I walk in, and you know, sure sure enough, there's a Māori in the room, and she's my cousin, you know? <laughs> and, it, and it happens all the time. So, and she's at ASB, so uh, kia ora whanaunga. Um, so I want to just talk, really what I really want to talk about, and I will try and use these slides, um, and try and stick sort of to the script, because people back at head office said, Hemi, you have to try and stick to a script in one day. So who are we, you know, and why do we exist? So we want really exist to help New Zealand economy succeed through technology. What I really want to get through today is that we're not just about money. We're not just about money, but we know money helps. Money helps and de-risks and creates opportunity for us to do, to do more. And when I talk about money, I talk about grants. But there's much more, and there's a whole lot of different grants. So what I want to probably leave you with today is, is some of the areas, and some of you are obviously fairly engaged with us, 
um, through a whole lot of different avenues so that maybe you might say actually I'm interested in a student grant, actually I'm interested in a program, actually I'm interested in being on one of the Callaghan delegations and more importantly wow I didn't know that you guys had so much capability in technology because pretty much two-thirds of our staff are working in that um, science and particularly in that IoT space so not only can we perhaps help you fund it but we can help you build it and we can help you commercialize it and we can help you with connections um, and sometimes the great ones is when we can help you with all of those uh, those things so um, so there you go our inspiration Sir Paul Callahan a physicist a nanotechnologist someone that you know nanotechnology really looking at all the real really little things but he had a vision of the big things of the big picture so we're named after that guy and we're quite unique because we have been formed by New Zealand government but we aren't the Department of Innovation. We are named after Sir Paul Callaghan and I think I guess you know from my and I've had the privilege of, of spending a little bit of time with Sir Paul before he passed this you know he, he said that New Zealand's not you know just by the primary sector in itself uh, is not going to be the success and it's going to be the technology and the science that's going to make make the difference um, and so um, I said before Ruku here um, Ruku here te wahi naro hei maunga tātai whetu is our whakatauki our problem for Callaghan innovation so as I'm driving up the road and I just say Ruku here I was just like man that feels good that feels good because bold diving into the unknown Ruku here basically means diving being bold and you can't sort of half dive when you stand up, you've got to jump, you know, you can't dip your toes in, you're in. And that's that innovation, that's that entrepreneurial risk that, um, that, that and that's what Sir Paul was about. And Wahi Naro is the unknown, the lost place where nobody's been, which basically you guys are looking at doing things that nobody's done or doing it differently. So that's innovation. Um, and hey, Maunga Tātai Whetu was really the highest constellation of stars and we say that when you, in Māori then they say when you're a, a chief you go to that highest constellation of stars and that's really excellent so you've got to do something innovative and new you don't want to be average, eh? you want to be awesome and so that's what Callaghan is here today uh, here for and exists and we're, we're just over four years old um, and so um, why, why it's really relevant to be here today is because we, you know, we've been through the storming and norming type of um, work that we're doing and, um, and of course um, we, we arrange ourselves, so I said I'm general manager of sectors, so what are the priority sectors in New Zealand and the one that sort of highlighted up there is Agritech and we're working with 300 plus uh, businesses in that space but you know all, these things are also interrelated, food and beverage um, is so closely related to ag tech and then digital and sometimes the lines are blurred but who cares really? Who really cares about it and, and certainly in that health and well-being and the food and, and all of that sort of um, and where that world, world is actually changing um, and um, so those are the areas that we're focusing on so that's why it's important for Callaghan Innovation to be here today and we've got our, um, our group manager of ag tech here today as well as our um, what we call business innovation advisors so they know a whole lot more about ag tech than me. That's their role, to really know all the connections. And then we have, have a bunch of other um, so services. So the three, we try and sort of simplify our services into three. And I'm going to talk a little bit about R&D. So we have sites in um, Auckland, uh, Christchurch, and predominantly in Gracefield and Lower Hutt, where our predominant group of science and technology people that can help you um, you know, basically make something in that science and technology world. We were formerly known as IRL, but we're trying to lose that, um, you know, that name and really move towards Callaghan Innovation, but we were a marriage about four years ago. And then a whole lot of programs and innovation skills, and it's also skills um, that will help you develop your IP. Uh, Better by Lean is one of the well well, most well-known programs um, that we offer, so we, rank, we offer a whole range of programs and then grants, and then grants are grants. There's grants that are uh, growth grants for the massive companies that are doing, you know, the, the millions of dollars of R&D, and then there's project grants for the sort of medium term, and then there's getting starter grants, but also there's student grants. So there's grants for people that are just uh, finishing university, there's ones that are doing their masters, and there's the long-term ones where they'll come in and work in your firm and do a project. And there's some good success that's happening out there um, that, that will turn that into... Um, 
So R&D, again, so you think um, the way Callaghan Innovation is arranged, we're arranged into sectors, and under the sectors, or alongside the sectors, are technologies. Um, and so a lot of them will cross over all sectors. Um, and pre predominantly the one I'll, you know, I'll talk a little bit more about um, today is the IoT and data solutions and all of the capability that we have um, that we have in there. So um, I'll, I will refer to my notes for a sec because I'm not the expert in IoT. Bear with me a sec. So um, basically this is all the, you know, the, the Internet of Things, the big data, the sensing and automation, the robotics, all of the um, wireless technology, sonar technology, 3D measurement and modeling, um, basically turning computer vision, um, turning data into um, platforms, VR, AR. So all, of, and I think you'll be familiar, but what I'm probably probably just wanting to get, get, get across to you today at a high level is that we've got a huge amount of capability that can help you um, even just talk about your idea. Even just talk about your idea and, and, um, and of course to see what, it, what, it, what it else is out there and how we might be able to apply um, that capability. So that's probably one of the first things I just want to, um, I want to emphasize is that we have a huge amount of capability that's probably not that well known. And so our um, team here um, here can basically connect you. So that's one of the big things that we can do is connect and just have those conversations with our team and, and actually understand what um, types of capability we can help you with. Because we've had some real uh, hard case stories where people have gone all around the world and found out that the capability is down the road in Lower Hutt. You know? And they're, 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 and one of the biggest things that we're working on is how do we, how do we promote that capability more and more because a lot of it is actually sitting, sitting in New Zealand. Um, this is an example of a, a company that we've helped, um, BuzzTech, and so um, an ag tech company that grew out of um, a beehive rental company and came out of Sprout, I'm pretty sure it came out of Sprout, and um, oh yeah, I've got some notes on that one too, mm -hmm. you want a sec? So basically it's... Um, it's software and sensors for beehives basically telling beekeepers where to go um, based on the size and the condition of the bees. Um, so they graduated through um, Sprout um, and so Sprout is, is one of our, um, is our ag tech incubator. So again, that's something that some of you here will be familiar with and then some of you go, well, I need to be in, um, and um, was just talked about earlier um, about what's, what's coming out of there. But from there, they've been working with our data um, our technology capability team based in, uh, at Gracefield and we've been um, developing data solutions to help them build algorithms um, and audio recordings to produce unique insights into the hives. Um, so, you know, while they started there and then they're on a journey and then what I'm probably talking about, the next journey for them will be grants um, and, and a range of other um, products that we can help them with. Uh, so, I talked about programs, those are just some of the programs that, that, we, um, that we offer. So Innovation IP is probably, probably the most relevant to this group. Um, to give you the understanding and the confidence to manage and protect your IP um, and reduce risk and obviously enable growth and allow you to develop your uh, innovation strategy. Um, and so that's a program that um, when I went to our, our programs team, I said, what's the best program that, um, that I should be talking about to ag tech companies? And certainly this was the one um, that came out the highest. And again, I'm not the uh, program expert, but um, um, that's probably the biggest area that when you're de you guys are developing I IP that you need to think about how you can, how you can protect it. Um, so a number of grants, I sort of touched on these, these grants. Um, um, some of most of the, the um, student ones will provide like uh, the full amount um, for the for the early stages, and then the the um, project grants are forty percent, and the growth grants. And probably 
Um, I'm probably more talking, just looking around this group, probably to the project grant people. What, what is not also important, and, and there's, you know, we're always trying to improve the system, but it's a robust process. So we're not like a bank that we're loaning you money, um, and we're not like an equity company where we're taking, in, taking a stake. But we're government, of course, and it's money that, but you, you will go through a robust process, um, and there will be some really good advice um, to ensure that um, your money and our money is being put into the right place to really make a difference in, in your project. And a lot of the people that have been successful through the grants have told us we wouldn't, you know, so it's a de-risk. Sometimes, you know, if you're running a, a company and you're able to go to your board and say, well, we can de-risk this because we're partnering. And, um, you know, and what a lot of the companies have told me, and, and um, to Friday in Auckland, there's the New Zealand High Tech Awards, and uh, 34 of those 39 companies are, are Callaghan customers, and most of them are grant recipients, and most of them will tell you that the process really helped them, give them confidence, um, and when they were, were doing it, so we don't, you know, while it is a grant money, and, and at the end of the day, you will live in... Um, fail by, by you, well, what you do will give you a lot of advice and um, um, to make sure that that money is really well spent. And again, probably talking to some people in the room that have been through it, um, but there's a range of grants that we can, we can uh, give to you. So um, again, you know, a lot of detail on our website, but certainly with our team. So really just getting you to understand, hey, I, I should get a student over the Christmas break that's finishing off um, and some really good, good potential and models um, in there, and also we support incubators and accelerators, which is that really startup, um, and one of the ones that Peter's um, um, heavily involved in, WNT and Sprout are probably two of the, the areas that we support. They run autonomously, but Callahan basically puts them through a robust process. Um, they do also do run the, which is um, modelled on the Israel model of, of repayable loans, as well. Um, and again, look, um, you know, uh, we can provide you more information. So if you're in that startup um, space, these are the areas that, um, you know, and Sprout has grown, uh, grown a long way. Um, one of the areas we can really help you with is, is advice and connections. One of the biggest areas that, that we can, because we are, I guess, the honest broker, we are the, we're hovering around a lot of companies and we say, hey, if you talk to you and that guy's got that cool drone or that robot doing this and he could do this, and I've seen it, um, a number of times um, in my role um, where we connect people. And, and we connect you to the wider ecosystem, so we have a real strong relationship, obviously, with New Zealand Trade and Enterprise, um, where we're developing these products, because ultimately you're probably not going to sell most of it in New Zealand, it's going to, it's going to go global. And so there's those global connections. We do a lot of work with plant and food, you know, and again, real big connection into what they're doing in, in, in that space. So we, we, we are really well known for our connections across sectors and within sectors. And that's the big thing about being in the sector that Simon, who runs our sector, can connect you all up. And I think one of the biggest sort of success stories is, is the international missions that Callaghan were a big part of the last one, last year. Um, and really, what I fear, find on, on, on these missions, because I've been part of a lot of these missions, is, is everybody gets out of their day job. Um, everybody sort of gets rid of any egos and titles and talk. And, um, and what they see overseas is quite inspiring, but pretty much it's what they do when they come home. And I think being over in a number of conferences, we're, we're probably leading the pack in a lot of space, but we're probably slow on the execution. Whereas some of these guys in Silicon Valley, they don't, you know, they just go and they don't fear failure and they go. And that's the, the challenge. So I, I was part of an original uh, group that went over three years ago. Um, and we took New World Victoria Park supermarket owner, we took Steve Saunders who runs you know, robotics and a whole range of other areas and we took some really big iwi and there's some really exciting projects going on at the moment and Steve's doing a big, um, big project in the high value berry space but the thing about that project, it won't be just about growing berries, there's huge amounts of ag tech and technology um, that's coming about and then Peter led this group and I know a number of you were on the one recently with Nikki from our from our organisation about exposing yourself. Um, so that also is part of the connection role, role that we play and we see that as really, really beneficial. Um, Māori and ag tech, well, you know, it sort of goes without saying. Um, Māori are big in the, um, you know, Māori economy and it's quite interesting getting off the plane because um, you get off the Wellington plane 
and um, I could swear half the plane that was getting on, at least going to Wellington, was Tainui. It was the iwi, because they're all familiar faces, the CEO. The, the, and so there's this big iwi in this area that's pumping out and making a different um, difference and invest a big invest in Waikato milking systems and own the buses and a whole lot of hotels and, and you name it. Um, and that's just, just a, a, well, I guess perhaps, you know, I live and breathe the iwi space because I'm still still heavily involved in the kiwi fruit industry um, and Māori are, are really big in that space. Um, uh, Te Tumu Pairo just um, uh, partnered with Keysight who were the uh, port of Tauranga investment arm to invest about, you know, in, into some significant developments on orchards. Um, and so very forestry, fishing, farming, and t tomorrow, uh, Friday night, is the uh, Māori High Tech Awards. We've got some um, ag tech companies in the, um, in the Manuka honey tracking technology. Uh, last year, the winner was uh, Tiaki, which is the um, fish nets, the precision um, fish nets that bring, basically only takes the, you know, only catches the fish that you want, basically. So it's, uh, it's sustainable. And, um, and, you know, so it's, it's very much into them. The Māori world is really awake and alive to opportunity. And um, there are people um, like Steve Saunders who are, who are deep and involved in bringing them into that, that much broader, more exciting thinking where they were just landlords, generally speaking. Um, and you think about all of the exciting opportunities um, that, the, that the Māori economy could, um, could make. And so Callaghan Innovation is, is leading and working across the sectors and bringing Māori um, further and further into that ag tech space. Um, look, uh, they told me I should put up a slide. I said, look on our trends, and I said, well, I'm probably, they're probably going to tell me what all the trends are. I shouldn't really be telling them what the trends are, but, but that is the slide. And I think I'm getting the, uh, getting the hook. Um, so I guess perhaps in summary, you know, go, really going back to what I said, um, Callaghan Innovation has a huge amount of capability. Ag tech is not just, uh, you know, in our, a bit we do, it's actually, let, we let, it's a sector we focus on. And if you are an ag tech, um, we have our ag tech team here. Um, if you're thinking about helping make, you know, and that capability and that science and technology, um, you need to, um, we've got one of our BDM, sorry, I forgot, you just started, so I forgot your name. Marika. Marika, so Marika is one of our uh, BDMs who works in our science and, and technical space, so she's here as well, so she would be a good person to talk to about, um, about our science and technology capability. Programs, grants, our team are here, here to help, um, you know, and maybe there's something there that might have uh, given you an indication of how how Callaghan Innovation can help. I just want to mihi to you, Simon. Ka nui te mihi ki a koe, e te rangatira, ko tai mai nei, ko ki mai. Simon left me with, uh, with the, this role. Simon really led out this role and was a big part of the ag tech um, um, and was our lead now, Callaghan, so I want to mihi to Simon. Um, and lastly to you, Peter. Um, thank you for, you know, for the opportunity. Um, I've, you know, we've traversed a long way in the last six, seven years, but we always come back to Tauranga. Uh, <laughs> uh, no reira, a tēnā koutou, a tēnā koutou, a tēnā koutou koutou.